YouTube was good, man. Say so we back with some WWE 2K24, bro. And this right here, I just want to have a little conversation with y'all, man. That's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? One thing is, I'm real close to getting this Roman Reigns. So by the time tomorrow, at least sometime in the morning or something, I should have a video dropped on this. Uh, let me show y'all where I'm at so far before we get into what I want to talk about, bro. Let me go ahead and go over here to these collections. Go right here. We are one card away. The Cody Rose. Now you see my coins a little low. I only got eleven thousand on me right now, but we one card away. And if I'm not mistaken, Cody Rose is going for like twenty thousand or something like that. Uh, okay, great. Okay, so I cannot check the stuff right now because the service is, is undergoing uh, uh, maintenance at this moment. So, uh, but the Cody Rose is probably going for like twenty thousand and three hundred coins or something like that. So I'm around like nine thousand coins away, which I will have before the end of the day uh so we will be dropping a video to see if i can one take tim yet i've been hearing so many people telling me you ain't gonna be able to do it that halula kick <laughs> is deadly you feel me uh but i'm ready i want to try it out i just want to see if i can one take it though you know what i'm saying that's all i just want to see but one of the things that i did want to talk about is this match right here um dang bro i want to give you your i want to give you your uh your credit bro and I, if i can find the, the comment i will pop it up here i apologize i forgot uh forgot his name and everything but he was saying that he had pulled kane um he ended up pulling kane but the only issue that he feel like he have an issue with kane is kane's stamina is real low uh he get tired quick uh plus this match is going to be a five minute match uh i think it's two out of three yes yeah, two out of three falls and all that stuff so me personally, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm not pulling packs for this. I might start pulling packs soon. I don't know. I really don't wanna go into the little pack pulling situation, bro. It, I don't even get happy to pull packs, bro, because I know I'm gonna get screwed eventually. Even though I do wanna, I like this Ted DiBiase. I like how he looking, bro. I like his, the, look, Sting Like a Bee. It is a uh, tier two. Wish it was at least an Amethyst, but his Mercy Opportunity is on gold and all the other good stuff, man. I would love to try Ted DiBiase. Right now, I just want to try out cards that I have not tried. And this is one of the things that made me really look at this, the Undertaker tie. Why didn't nobody tell me Undertaker have oddities now? Because I did not know it. I didn't. I haven't been paying attention. I haven't seen none of this, bro. But I was sitting here looking at this and I seen the Undertaker tie, which we're going to get to there in a minute. But he was saying that uh, Kane is very, very slow. He ended up pulling him. Uh, his stamina just depletes very fast and all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all my input about do I feel like that match is gonna be hard or not. Like I feel like it could be hard, but I don't know if it's gonna be that hard. Now stamina do play a key part in these uh, live events, man. You gotta learn how to manage your stamina as best as possible. He do have a 57 stamina, which is terrible. You could probably try to get a manager that can boost up his stamina a little bit. Try to see if you can find some side place to throw on him, try to add extra to his stamina or just take your time in the match, which I understand in this match, you can't really take your time too much because we only have five minutes. Uh, so I do understand the controversy. Did I, did I use that right? I, I don't know. I do understand the dilemma that you might have. Me saying you gotta take your time, but you gotta try to at least take as much time as you can in this match. Not too much time, because you only got five minutes, but you need to pace yourself to make sure that you, you know what I'm saying, handle your business. Now, I don't know what the car, who, I forgot who we're going up against again. I gotta, I gotta go back and check. I don't know what they gonna be. I don't know if they're gonna be a Galaxy Opal. I don't know if they're gonna be an Amethyst. I don't know if they're gonna be a Diamond. I don't know if they're gonna be a Pink Diamond. Depending on what they are, could make this a lot more harder also. So, uh, yeah, man, that's, I, I, I don't know, five minutes too? Uh-uh. Now, the one thing that I do like about Kane though, as you can see the badges right here he has amethyst thing like a bee he also got amethyst heavy handed them two together once you get them stunned hit him with another combo but uh like when you first before you get them stunned hit him with a combo that you don't end off with a heavy attack do not end it with a heavy attack when you stun him the first time then once you stun him do a combo and then end it off with a heavy attack it will re it will reset his whole stun since he have heavy handed Plus wet blanket, once you get them stunned, they lose their momentum. And when I say by momentum is, if they got a blue bar, they start to lose some of their blue bar. If they have a finisher, they'll lose their finisher. So the wet blanket is a plus. Plus he has also quick recovery on gold that'll help you get up off that mat a little bit more faster. So 
I do feel like the stamina would be an issue, bro. He got resiliency as his uh, payback, too. So, um, like I said, I do feel like his stamina would probably be an issue, but I don't think it'll be a that much of an issue, though. You feel me? Now, depending on what the card that we are going up against, matter of fact, let's go ahead and go back over. Now, depending on what type of card Stone Cold is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a Galaxy Opal. I don't know if it's going to be a Pink Diamond. I don't know what they're going to do. Now, let's go ahead and look at these stipulations, man. Let's go ahead and check out these matches. This match right here, bro. It is going to be a five-minute match, which I don't think nobody liked the five-minute matches. Plus, they put it as a two out of three fall, which is going to be trash. Uh, the good thing about this, though, listen to me. The good thing about this whole thing is, even though it's a five-minute match, my guy, is you have a ring count out. I wouldn't advise you to try to go for the uh, pin unless you just want to try to uh, set a challenge for yourself and try to go through it as doing it with a pen. I wouldn't prefer you to do it the pen way. I would prefer you to either throw him outside the ring, get the 10 count, something like that. Plus, we also don't know exactly how many uh, my faction points is required before we are able to finish this match. I don't know if it's going to be 60, 30, 45, 90, 75. I don't know what they might do. Um, now, the one thing that's going to make this hard is we can't see the hood. That's one of the things that's going to make this a lot hard. Uh, payback is always active, so I wouldn't even go for a pin on them at all. 10 count out is the best way to do this. Now, like I said, if you want to go through and try to get a one, two, three twice, that's up to you. But you know that they, they are not going to let this be easy. And he has unlimited paybacks. So if he has resiliency, you are not going to gonna be able to pin him, bro. He's going to pop the resiliency. You probably got to like what? Make him pop it. And then for that little split second, if you can get him pinned again before the resiliency light up again, you might can get the one, two, three. But that's too much work. I'm, I'm just keeping 100 with you. That's too much work. I would rather throw him outside the ring and get the one, two, three that way. You feel me? Um, the good thing is uh, when we st when we start the match, we'll have three finishers off rip. So we know for a fact once we start, we will have three finishers. So we ain't got to really worry about that. We can try to be a little bit more smarter. Uh, with you know certain things that we do and all this stuff, but we end up with three finishers, so that that ain't gonna be an issue. Uh, head and uh, head in the sand. I guess we both start off with head health damage or something like that. I have no idea what this situation is. It's gonna be a problem because Stone Cold he has what he has the Stone Cold Stunner, which is go towards the head. I don't know. I know Kane have the chokes now, but do he have the tombstone too? I really don't know. I, I haven't played with a Kane card, so I don't know if they gave him the tombstone or not. Um, I know that he do have the choke slam. I don't know if that's his finisher or is that his signature. It's a lot about Kane that I don't know. I haven't played with a Kane card, so I really don't know, and I don't want to sit here and lie. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what his card look like, what's his finishers, what his signatures, because I don't know. Uh, I know I can leave up out of here right now and go into his, um, you know what I'm saying, go check out all his moves and stuff, but I, I'm in the middle of a <laughs> talking i don't feel like going to go check that right now so y'all let me know you feel me i'll figure out later but uh the good thing is we know for a fact we'll have finishes so that's one thing we ain't got to worry about that's 15 my fashion points we don't have to worry about then we just got to turn two times that's 45 uh my fashion points right there and then we just got to get our signature and then as i'm not mistaken kane should be a powerhouse so you gotta do like a little body attacks or something like that so i need to figure out his move sets and see which one of them moves is a little glitchy that'll help me you know what i'm saying finagle a little bit you feel me so um i feel like it could be a problem the five minutes could be a problem but i don't think the five minutes is really going to be a big big problem that's my thoughts especially since we were able to get count outs we can just throw them out for the one two i mean the uh one through ten and then you know what i'm saying do it again we just got to make sure that we do what we need to do when it comes to those grapple moves and that, uh, that make sure that torso is red. Other than that, everything else should be gravy. I don't think this should be a hard, hard match, but we will find out once it drop. You feel me? Also, the Uso B Day bash drops tomorrow. So that's an easy fight uh, with 6,000 coins right there if you need that. We also got 50 tokens that's going to be dropping tomorrow. And we also got a little, my fa uh, little faction wars going on, a little bonus pack, which a lot of people been saying that they've been having a lot of trouble with faction wars. I stopped playing Faction Wars because I don't know if y'all remember when I said I moved over to PC, which I'm still on PC. Um, I was getting kicked out all the time. Back to back. Wah, wah. They just kept knocking me out every match I was in. Oh, yeah, it's undergoing maintenance. Uh, maintenance. But um, they kept kicking me out. Now I heard that people are having issues 
that once they get to the last one, the fifth uh, run, they can't finish it. You feel me? I was getting kicked out in the first run, the third run. It, it depends on how uh, 2K was feeling that day or before the game would crash. I mean, the game would end up just crashing on me. So I, I haven't been playing Faction Wars at all. I haven't touched it. The only time I touch this, I have like almost 40 tickets. The only time that I would touch this right here is if they come out with more cards. That's the only time that you will see me inside uh, Faction Wars is when they drop more cards. But other than that, I am not coming here. I'm not touching this mode. This is a waste of time for me, bro. It's going to ain't gonna do them but crash. The game only crash when I'm playing Faction Wars. I can play Wicked Tower, Proving Grounds, any other mode. The game do not crash on me. But as soon as I start playing Faction Wars, for some reason on PC, the game keep crashing on me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, man, that's just one thing that I wanted to talk about, man. Um, I seen someone was talking about this match right here in the comment section. I just want to, you know, put my little input, my little two cents in it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about everything. Uh, am I wrong? Am I right? What's some stuff that you agree with that you disagree with me? As long as we keep on everything respectful, man, everything can be good. And once you start to get a little disrespectful, I don't even want to go back and forth with you. I'm just going to block you. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> You're just going to get blocked. You hear me? Um, now, I don't care about you disagreeing with me. That's cool. But when you start to start typing a little too heavy, yeah, I'm just going to pack you up. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's pretty much it, bro. Uh, y'all let me know if anybody done got this cane, bro. If y'all rocking with Kane or if he's too slow for y'all, y'all not rocking with him. If you already done pulled him, uh, let me know what y'all think about the Kane and everything. Uh, his his badges and stuff looked good with the uh, Amethyst thing like being the Amethyst heavy handed. Plus, he has a uh, wet blanket and everything. It looked it decent. You feel me? So I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know, man. Like I said, y'all let me know because I don't have the cane. I'm not going to be able to participate for this live event uh, because I'm not for the pull packs. Just keeping it 100 with you. I'm not about to pull packs. I, I ain't got time for packs. I didn't really care for pulling packs when, the, the last few years. You feel me? Uh, but I, I might do it later on. But right now, I don't see no reason to be out here pulling packs, man. But like I said, I'm talking for too long. I keep going back in circles, man. Uh, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If y'all did, hit that like button. Subscribe and all the other good stuff, bro. And I get y'all in the next one. Also, we almost got that Roman Reigns. We close. Can I one shot it? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm out.